Alright, so this is going to be a review on the classic Baker board shape. Uh, my last video with the Baker B2 deck uh, got more popular than I thought it would be, so uh, I decided to go to a normal board because if you guys remember in the B2 review, I was hating on the squared nose and tail and it was messing up all my tricks. So this is just your normal classic shape, the normal popsicle. Um, Apparently it's more mellow in terms of the pop. I don't really feel too much a difference of the concave for the normal Baker board compared to the B2 that says steep concave. Um, now that one on the B2, it did have a steeper nose and tail, and I did a comparison uh, in the unboxing of this video, but the steeper nose and tail or kick on the B2 means that you have to like pop more like this to do your tricks, where this one is just a normal shape. Uh, again, it says it's more mellow. It doesn't feel normal. I mean, it doesn't feel mellow. It feels like a normal skateboard. So you just quick pop. You can get your flip tricks better. The thing that I really like is just the normal popsicle shape. So with the square nose and tail, it would come out to like right here and then kind of curve like a shovel. And um, this is more like that. So with the with the B2, if you wanted to kick flip, you had to like really flick out to the side because if you flicked straight, it would hook it and it would turn the board like a burial flip or um, sometimes dolphin on you. But this, if you just flick normal like an ollie or kick flip like how you normally would, it uh, keeps the board straight for kick flips. So that's better. Tray flips are also easier versus the Baker B2 on the normal one because there's not as much weight on the outside, so more of the weight is centered in the middle, so you got that like centrifugal force, so you got most of the mass here um, versus on the outside, so it helps it rotate, so tray flips just require less effort. Kick flips stay straight, pop is snappier and quicker. Um, I have big feet, so doing tail slides though, you definitely got to be a little more careful when you're trying to lock in versus the B2, which is great for tail slides and no slides if you have big feet because obviously it's wider, but this one, definitely uh, better for normal street skating. And surprisingly, Baker has come a long way in terms of strength. Like when I was younger, maybe like 10 years ago skating, I hated Baker boards. They had really good pop back then, but they snapped even on flat ground ollies. Like that actually happened. And that was when I was really skinny, so no lie. Um, I did stiff leg stuff a lot more, but this is just a normal classic Baker shape, so it looks pretty basic, but it skates really well. Uh, I may try another one in the future, maybe my next board will be a Baker one, uh, I don't know, but definitely I prefer Baker, normal, classic, to the B2, so if you're wondering if you want to get the Baker B2, or just a classic one, go ahead, I mean different design, but this is the OG shape as they call it now. Uh, go with that because it holds up pretty well, kind of strong, stronger than Baker boards used to be. Uh, kick flips, tray flips, all of that's easier and it's pretty comfortable and I mean yeah, Bakers are just good boards. So that's my review on that. Uh, I am riding really small wheels as you guys can see, but uh, that, that all is for a different type of review. Anyways. I'll let you guys know my next deck that comes in the mail. I will probably be getting a new complete because these bearings have so much dirt in it. The threads are tearing up from doing primos on the bolt. And I love these trucks. I hate getting new trucks and trying to break them in. But the bushings on one side is completely shredded. So just probably going to have to get a whole new complete as my next board. And yeah. But for right now, uh, I'm going to go skate this cat instead because he's gnarly.